My name is Benjamin Klingenberg. I'm the managing director of NCAB Group Germany, responsible for the markets in Austria, Switzerland and Germany. We produce printed circuit boards, so PCBs, and uh, we do it uh, with zero defects on time, sustainably to lowest possible costs. That's our product. I think it's not far away from reality. Um, it's like 50 to 60 percent that is even being produced in China and uh, much more in whole Asia. So in the 1970s, uh, when China opens the door to the rest of the world, uh, a lot of international companies, Western companies moved there um, to use China as their workbench, uh, mainly, of course, due to low salaries and uh, low costs. And, but meanwhile, China emerged to the spot for PCBs and uh, they have a huge know-how. It's a supply chain on site. Um, so I think many of local PCB shops um, are not as high tech as the Chinese ones are. No, we do all of them. Uh, we start with prototypes and the technical support in design, in material choice, uh, stack up, whatever. And then we support the customer through the whole uh, product lifecycle till the volumes uh, appear and we might move them into a more suitable factory. And that's exactly what we call our seamless production. The answer is clear as, as early as possible. Um, there is a known rule of 10 and uh, the later you involve uh, somebody from our team, uh, the higher the costs might be to solve a challenge, to uh, improve the PCB design or to even get rid of errors or design faults. So um, we suggest to talk to our engineers as, as early as possible. they benefit a lot because uh, not every PCB factory is the same. PCB factories have their certain focus, their cer certain technology focus, and uh, it's our responsibility and our task to choose the best suitable factory for the demands of such a PCB in terms of what is the quality uh, or what is the technology um, combined with the needed quantity. I think the PCB will change um, as it did in the past. So uh, we started with single-sided, double-sided, then the multi-layers came. It was HDI that came up. It was flex, flex rigid boards came coming up. A combination of those. Um, I think we will see um, higher density. We see smaller tracks and gaps, but we will also see um, a high focus on uh, energy efficiency on printed circuit boards, especially when it comes to assembled printed circuit boards. When we consider that we have huge server farms around the world um, for the big groups like Google or whoever, uh, and also cryptocurrency that consumes energy uh, in, a, in a level like the whole Netherlands does per year. So uh, energy efficiency and uh, thermal management will be uh, some of the topics in the future. It was a unique crisis, I have to say. I'm dealing with printed circuit boards in 22 years and I've never seen such a crisis and um, it affected everything. It affected uh, how to deal with the employees, to secure them, to make sure they do not get infected, uh, to secure how they can uh, set up their uh, uh, home office or work from home. Um, also, it's to inform our customers what is going on in Asia. I mean, Asia and especially China closed the doors and nobody was allowed to go there. So we had a team with 100 people on site that gave us the information that we could forward to our local customers. And of course, also the impact on the supply chain when it comes to shipping. Um, it was a big impact on the uh, airplane capacity, um, sea freight capacity and so on. And that was uh, one of our big advantages in the size of NCAB.
I think a lot. Um, I think we recognize that uh, we can do a lot digital. Um, we changed uh, our way of working with the customers. We are working a lot by uh, video conferences. We are using a lot more webinars to inform the customers. But after these one and a half or two years of COVID now, I think we also recognize how important it is to meet people and uh, to have a yeah, human being personal interaction um, that we more or less miss uh, since quite a time. So I think it's, it's also time to change back into yeah, personal meetings and being on site as a customer. I would say we are rather unique here. Um, it's not like uh, Friday for Future um, meetings uh, started our way of thinking about sustainability and so on. Our local um, uh, subsidiary in Sweden, where our mother uh, group is located, started that already seven years ago. So we have a, a bi-yearly um, sustainability report. We focus a lot on sustainability uh, on site in our factories sustainability and uh, ethics uh, in those factories, but also on site in our sales offices. And I, I would say that's a unique process that we have in place there. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, of course, there's a lot of chemicals involved. Um, it's, it's a huge energy consumption in some process for heating and some processes for chilling. And um, I would say, yeah, it's uh, maybe not the cleanest product of the world, but the world needs it. This world cannot uh, be as it is uh, without PCBs. So we need PCBs and we can ask the question in a different way. Why not starting where you have maybe the biggest impact and that's exactly what we do um, to have an impact on the PCB production and make it more to be, come closer to be green. Maybe not fully green yet, but we are in a good way. I think uh, one of our three values is uh, full responsibility. And I think it's also a part of a responsibility of a company, of a group like NCAB, to support startups, to support young people with their ideas. And I think that's something that is driving us here. And of course, we are interested in the technologies of tomorrow and quite a lot of them are born in startups. I would say a lot. Um, startups, if I consider how a startup looks like, it's maybe it's, sometimes it's a one-man show, sometimes it's just a, a, a group of limited resources and uh, that's exactly where we can uh, bring an added value. Um, with our engineers supporting in the design, material selection, uh, stack up design, panel design, I think there's a lot that we can do and then even uh, bring the printed circuit board and the product from a sample production into the mass production. Yeah, that's, uh, I think in the beginning when you come with an idea, you need to have somebody that believes in your idea. And um, that's uh, very difficult to find a producer that believes in a, in a very small quantity of sample PCBs, but we do. And um, I think uh, we give the right support for this and uh, we support those startups on their way to success. Um, personally, I like ideas that uh, give an added value to the humans. Um, may it be making life more easy, making life more pleasant, uh, prolonging life, uh, um, but also maybe an indirect impact um, on the sustainability part, um, supporting nature or um, yeah, the climate, whatever. So that's something that is personally from, from interest for me. Um, but of course, it's a question of uh, scaling this business. Is it um, feasible? Um, stuff like that. 